Hi, Scissorin here with another episode of the Sunday Roast. If you are not familiar with what this is, I'm going to try to be toxic on purpose. So it's basically people ask for build help and then we insult them and we're toxic. Uh, sort of like Gordon Ramsay kind of style. Um, so I'm, I'm trying very hard to be mean. It is all on purpose. It's consensual. Uh, consensual toxicity. But it's uh, yeah, basically build help. So we have uh, four people here that wanted to be roasted. And uh, maybe a fifth. We'll see. Uh, let's see. So. Sif character is siphoning the rituals. Deaths. 230. Note given. I'm Safka Ritual. I know the tree is pretty messed up. Mostly because I like the time to farm the currency to get enough regrets. I need to use the ever-changing stuff I do on this clearly shit self-made build. Would be glad for every bit of help. <coughs> right, let's see. We're gonna we're gonna load it into Path of Building too, just so we like see like the stats of the character. Uh what was his account name? Sor Sor Sorgarut. Sorgarut. Alright, let's see. Siphoning the rituals. Let's load it in. And and see what we have to deal with here. Nice, nice. We are level 88. Rocking a solid 4,300 energy shield. That's a good start. Um, cool. Okay, that's the main thing I wanted to see from Path of Building. Using Obliteration. Purple Explosions are cool. I get it. I get it. We're off to a strong start. Um, actually, that's a good point. Let's look at the res. 72, 72, 65. But I don't know what bandit he has. So he maybe actually has Illyria. I don't know if he's crit or not. Is he using a diamond? He could be Alira. We don't know. Maybe. Maybe Alira. Um, let's see. Cool try. I'm not really reading chat right now, dude. You're not crit and you're not Alira. Okay, so this guy is in chat. That's nice. That makes my me more inclined to be even meaner and even more toxic. So just to make sure you're getting this, resistances are good. Um, yikes. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at all the items and stuff. What are you even? Spell singer, flame surge, bladeful. Eh. Volatile dead spell singer. Eh. Are you? You're, no, you're just, you're just VD, right? You're just VD. Oh, he is actually res kept through his clusters. Okay, that's, that's a relief. That's a relief. Uh, let's see here. What on earth are you? What? Oh, that's their off oh, Thank fuck. I was really worried. I was really worried. Okay, desecrate. Added fire. Spell thing or wave of conviction. Okay, there there are better ways to to than not you. Okay, sure. Um, and a five link volatile dead. Do you know this is what happens? This is what happens. All league, probably this guy was one of them. People have been coming in, and they've been asking, Zizrin, is volatile dead still viable as spell singer? And I've been, no, not really. Maybe if you go low life. This is not what I meant. Everything you've done here is not what I meant. Let's look more at the gear. Um, okay, a very low divine shoves, but you don't seem to really like energy shield anyway, so that's kind of going for the trend of the build so far. You actually do have a good enchant, which, you know, miracles do happen. Um, you've decided that the amulet slot is kind of wasted and that you'd rather have a more difficult game. Uh, Lori's Lantern is fine because your low life and damage hitting you is unlucky. It's actually very, very strong. Uh, so Lori's Lantern is good. And your helmet is, you know, sure. It, it is okay, um, I suppose. It, it, it is interesting in a league such as Harvest where you can basically copy-paste items that you've gotten for a helmet that looks like it's from 2017. But here we go. Um... 
I'm not really sure what has happened here. I mean, I see that you really wanted energy shield on block, but seeing as that is like one harvest augment defense to guarantee on a shield, I don't know why you're like, you actually have a titanium spirit shield as well. I don't even know the item level, but I am absolutely shook that you've decided to keep such a bad shield. Um, especially in a league where it's so easy to get actually a high roll. Um, I can see that you don't really understand items well. I don't really know what has happened here. That is, uh, I don't know why you have fire damage to attacks. The only thing that I could, like, maybe think is that maybe you didn't really understand how Spellslinger works and you thought that Spellslinger attack damage from your fucking ring would somehow work. It, it doesn't, by the way. It doesn't. You're just bad. Um, Jesus, dude. Like, honestly, I'm a little bit surprised, though, because it says in the notes that you wrote, um, for this clearly shit self-made build. So you say that you aren't following a build guide, but it actually does look like you are following a build guide. You just decided to do exactly the opposite of everything that was in the guide. So I feel like you're already lying a little bit with your intro message. Um, let's see. I'm not really sure what happened here. This seems like super counterproductive, no? Why are you using gloves that are converting your physical damage to cold when you are actually using Wave of Commission? I don't even know. Is added fire even enough to make it enough then? Aren't you, like, I, why on earth have you decided to use those gloves? I don't really understand. Is it just to do... L no, I don't even know. I don't, I don't understand. Like, it's... You want cold exposure? Do you happen to have a lot of cold damage hidden somewhere? And look at this. This is, this is even better. This is even better because this is like the, the most useful thing that my roast ever did was really drive home the point of level 20 gems. You're not playing solo self fun. Why do you have a level, like, why do you have a level 19 gem? Like, it's like three chaos for a damage upgrade because you're not like, you're probably not even scaling the corpse explosion that part that much. You're actually scaling spell damage. So you're scaling the initial hit, which does get impacted by gem level. So you should get a level 20 or a level 21. What's a, what's a level 20 volatile dead on softcore? It's probably like two or three chaos. Maybe one. If you can actually get somebody to reply. Um, let's see. And uh, I haven't even seen somebody do this in so long. We actually have a one stat belt here. We actually have a one stat belt. We actually have a one stat belt. I haven't seen this in so long. I had a better belt than this at level 32. This is amazing. I'm honestly amazed that you're actually able to even boot up the client at this point. Because, like, I, I don't even know where to start. Poison immunity, bleed immunity, ignite immunity, freeze. Do you have any curse immunity that I don't know about? Or do you just, like, fall over and die whenever you get cursed? What is a one stat belt? So that means that he only has one stat that really matters for a build here. He has the energy shield and then he's crafted lightning and chaos resist. That's pretty much it. Like this is the kind of gear that I would expect from console players. Except that they installed the game yesterday. That That's like what, what I'm expecting. Um... Oh, there's also no quality on any single piece of flask. But honestly, like... This is more than I was expecting because he has two stats on every flask. So he has actually discovered the orb of augmentation, which, you know, you could have discovered that for your belt. Maybe that would have been a cool thing, but no, at least you have discovered it for your flasks. So that is really, really impressive. You have at least like 60, maybe 65 IQ. I'm not 100% convinced that you're actually able to open doors on your own without help. But seriously, like honestly, the fact that you're level 88 with a build that like nobody else would ever see themselves playing. That that speaks volumes on its own. I've actually never seen a skill tree like this. This is really it's like you're playing on there's a there's a game called Minecraft and it has creative mode. It's something called creative mode. And it looks like you're trying try, try to try to bring that into Path of Exile here. Is it looks a bit like you're drawing on the skill tree. It's like, ah, oh, it's a little bit of Bob Ross. Oh, we'll take like those notes. They look nice. They don't do anything for my build, but they look nice over there. Um, cast speed, spell singer build, sweet dude. Um, yeah. I, I honestly, I don't really know what's happened here. 
that that's that's you know, I, I could understand, like, maybe, maybe going, like, I, if anything, I would path over here for the left, your spell singer, so you could at least, like, throw something else, and, you know, like, maybe finally get a six thing. Who am I kidding? This guy's never getting a six thing. Um, hmm. Where do we start with this build? Okay, your gloves, you need completely new gloves. You should have gloves with at least 200 ES. You should have at least six or seven K ES, even on softcore, before going um low life or energy shield builds at all like your boots your gloves actually the majority of your gear is garbage the majority of your gear is actually garbage can you take his other characters no this was the one he wanted help with and i don't personally want to have a stroke i don't personally want to have a stroke like the only like redeemable item here on your build is actually the helmet and i mean you have a shaft so you didn't fuck up the unique that's good I don't know how you would have fu fucked up a unique, but maybe you could have shown us. Um, so first off, I would want to get an actual essence. Because, like, an actual essenced one, right? That would be the first step for this build. So I would use Deafening Essence of Anger. Try to get, like, the, what a best-in-slot item for your build would look like would be, like, Deafening Essence of Anger. You can use Fire Damage spells, and you could use High Fire Damage. Fire Damage would be the best stat, but you could also craft pretty high uh, just from the crafting bench. So you can get like 50, 60 uh, fire damage pretty easily. Because obviously you are actually scaling the initial hit. Whenever I do VD or DD, I'm smart, unlike you. So I actually scale the explosion part, which is generally better. But that's the problem with low life is you do actually get spell damage. So you do actually want to scale the initial hit explosion a little bit more here. Um, also, like somebody in uh, Simuser in chat just pointed out, Prism Guardian is really, really nice for low life. But I do respect the choice of going for energy shield and block. And... Yeah, I can see, like, if you're playing the game with 4,000 energy shield, and you're like, dude, every it's like, a little bit like playing Dark Souls, no hit run. I can see the fact that, yeah, any defense is nice. But a Prison Guardian could be pretty cool, and maybe even, like, going a different sort of defense than that. Either way, please get a better shield. If you don't know already, um, whenever you augment defense, so the Harvest augment for defense, any time you do that when it's only hitting the suffix part, on a Shaper Shield, it is guaranteed to hit Recover and Energy Shield's block. There are no other defense suffixes. So you just need to roll the shield until they have like decent like 300, 350 Energy Shield. And then you get one Augment Defense. Boom. You have a shield. And that's going to be a really, really good one. Um, your helmet's fine. That's actually the only item you managed not to fuck up. I'm going to assume you bought it because it's a really, really good enchant. Actually, who am I kidding? You wouldn't be able to afford it. Um... Here you really want a Presence of Tirula. There's no way they're expensive on Softcore. There's no way a Presence of Tirula is expensive on Softcore. And it's such a good item. Um, it also gives you Stun Immunity. It's 10C. 20C. Okay, so you get a Presence of Tirula. Your rings. Here's an important lesson. The Fire Damage Attacks, I know it's confusing, but Spell Slinger, it has to be on your wand. The Flood Damage Attacks has to be on your wand. Um, so, you know, it, the, the, this is like, this is again a, a one stat item. It has the energy shield and then you have, I don't know, maybe you desperately need the 12 old attributes uh, and then you have the cold and chaos rest. That's the only thing you have here. Loris Dungeon, that's completely fine. Again, you've managed not to fuck up unique items. Like, I don't know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's saw a unique item here. We're missing a few stats uh, based on the side of your build. Again, the belt, really bad. Stooge and Vise would even be better, but like, just please get stats. I don't know, throw a deafening essence of, like, spite on or shrieking. I don't care, but, like, at least have two, two stats that are good. And then a crafted one. Um, and I just, your, your gloves just get new ones. Why is the conversion here to begin with? Do you know, it actually would have made sense. If it was physical damage converted to fire damage, it actually would have made sense. Because then you could have dropped added fire on your, um, where on earth are things in your build? Uh, you could have dropped added fire on your wave of conviction and saved yourself some mana there. Wait, no. Oh my god, there's so much. I wasn't even planning on doing like a really long build roast, but there's so much wrong here. And this is why people should follow build guides. I just realized that you're not using spell cascade on either your desk crate or your vault of deaths. You're literally summoning three balls instead of nine like most people. You're just like three, 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 three. So you could like, oh my god. Oh my god. What? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I'm sad. I'm very sad. Like, did, mm. You're on a four link on your main damage support as well. I just realized I'm like, I need some copium. I need a bag that says copium on it for Sunday Rose that I can just breathe into. That's that's what I need. Um. Oh my god. Okay, Spell Cascade. Figure out a better way of handling your mana. Like, maybe do the nodes that I was suggesting you do. Like, I, I don't know why you've gone... One, two, three... Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. What? You can live literally the same distance! It's literally the same distance except you're next to the mana reservation nodes that you clearly fucking need! Ah! How did how did that go in your brain? You were like, oh, I've seen everybody taking that path and you wanted to take the path least walked? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I don't even know. I'm actually surprised that you actually have energy shield nodes and you have that little... Yes, I've never seen it. What have you anointed? What's Thieves Craft? And why? What is Thief's Crafts? What is it? And why have you anointed it? I genuinely don't know what it is. I can't remember node names. He does have discipline. What on earth? Um, okay, so, so this isn't an expensive anoint, so just by anointing this, you could have saved yourself one, two, three, four, five, I mean, you can probably put this somewhere else, six, seven, eight, nine, it's like nine points, bro, you can put that there instead, you could have saved yourself like, well, seven points, seven points with one anoint. Genie, I, I do admire that you're taking intelligence, though. It's a shame it doesn't translate into real life. Oh, my God. Okay, there's, like, so much to do on this build. It's so much to do on this build. This is why, like, especially if you've recently, like, yeeted yourself down a staircase, please follow a build guide. Don't make your own. This is the result. This is the result. Um... <laughs> Fuck, that was mean. Oh, uh, okay. That's like the main points for this build. That's the main point for this build. Oh, I haven't even looked at Ascendancy. He's actually completed Uberlab. That's sick. That's sick. The, the Ascendancy points are okay. Um, okay, that was build number one. I just want to apologize. Especially since he was here in chat. I hope you're still here. I think that's the meanest I've ever been on a roast. I'm kind of proud of myself. I prepped for this. I uh, had like, I have roasts prepared. I have like lines prepared. I'm here, damn. Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad you're still here. It's really cool that you made your own build though. That is cool. Um, whew. Oh no. Okay, you also don't want these. You also don't want these. No, I have loads more insults. You want loads more. <laughs> Be strong, brother. Yeah, he has one notes. You don't want these. They don't do anything. I haven't seen anyone use Essence Surge. Ah, Essence Surge is fine, but... <sighs> okay, that was the most. I tried my best, but when I brushed the gloves and shield, they're kind of done. That's fair. Yeah, the, the, the gloves are really, really bad. If you keep following builds, you'll never learn, though. That's better than this. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Mm, we're gonna move on to the next one. We're gonna move on to the next one. Um, I don't like doing these because I don't like being mean to people. I don't like being mean to people. I feel like I did really well today. That was great. Uh, uh, what the fuck is this guy's account name? How the fuck do I copy-paste that in? 
Is that even... Okay. Does that work? Oh, cool. Uh, Spook Totem. Spook Totem. Level 84. Just be like you're playing Dota solo kill. I'm actually very calm and positive. Okay. All right, there. Okay, let's see. Spook Totem, Death 64. Uh, I'm struggling with survivability and single target DPS. I can clear pretty good, but sometimes I get one shot and I have Z DPS on bosses. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's take a quick look. I don't want to see too much here. Uh, he's rest cap. That's always good. <laughs> Wait, did I fuck something up? <laughs> Please say this isn't a character. Did I fuck something up? Hold on, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Hold on, I think I fucked something up. Um, I think that was the wrong character. That was like a level 40 character or something. Um... I hope. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Up. So you have 2k life, 2k- you have more mana, you have more mana than life, and you're not even a mom build. Are you Archmage? What are you? What is this? Spook Totem. Are you Archmage at least? Please, please be Archmage. You're, you're not Archmage. Uh, and you're not mom? Oh, thank fuck he is. No, I thought he has Cloak Defiance. Wait, please, there must be something I'm missing. I'm grasping here. 10% damage taken from mana before life. <laughs> Please. There must be something. There must be. Are you just 10% mom? Please. I'm missing something. He's getting mom from somewhere else. Like, you're getting mom from somewhere else. I must be missing something. I'm bad. Right? Wait. Wait. <laughs> um Okay, so I feel like this build is going to single-handedly cause regrets to spike in price. Um Why do you use You actually have a reflection. How do you have a reflection? And a car's legacy. And are you deal wielding credit cards? Like this is like shocking. What is happening? What is this? What has happened here? I don't understand. Can we just assume that I've like misclicked and that mom was supposed to be on? But it isn't because it's not in either POB or in-game. What has happened here? Your build is an orb of regret. Okay, let's let's just we'll we'll just start processing it. Okay, so you've decided that the game was too easy. Um, actually, no, I see what happened here. He was like, "That is really really cool. I really like celestial microtransactions. I want a celestial item." He didn't really care so much what was rolled on it. There's no stats that are actually useful here, but you know, that's really, really cool. Look at the background. It's shiny. It sparkles. It sparkles. Just like the glue you're reading. Um, right. Okay. Malevolence, reduced mana enchant. Doesn't that sell for something? Cause like you're not using malevolence, are you? You're using zealotry and wrath. Um, 
Level 19 gem. We see a, we see a, a very, very big trend here between people of like that eat glue and not using level 20 gems in their build. Like whenever you're using, if it's a spell at the top of your gem, if it's a spell or elemental hit or toxic rain and you are not using a level 20 gem and you're not on soul cell fun, you fucked up. Now there's probably a lot of people that maybe don't even deserve a roast, but they're like, I don't have a level 20 gem. Like, please, always on Trade League, it's one or two C to buy a level 20 gem. And nearly every build, it's just like, don't do, don't, like, you don't need it on, like, Cyclone and shit like that and Reeve and stuff. But if you're using a spell gem, early hit, caustic hero, toxic rain, anything that scales per level, you want a level 20 gem. And it is huge. Um, so his show his slayer to see if this is a trap. And I was using a Star Forge. This is not a trap. This is not a trap. Oh God. Uh I haven't seen no one use that. Alright, okay. Uh let's see. Um I don't really know what happened here. If eating glue was represented by a build. You have an eternal life us? You really want a divine life us if you're going to be instant. Eternal is worse. Not everybody knows that. You'd never want any mana flask except for enduring. Uh, you always want enduring. You have bleed immunity. You have freeze immunity. You don't... Oh, you do have curse immunity, but it's never going to be up pretty much. I don't understand why you've decided not to go for mom. I don't understand what happened here. The only thing that I think will happen... You might be in need of glasses. Like seeing and reading is hard. I can empathize with that. Uh, and transfiguration of mind is not mind or matter. He probably thought that uh, that gave him mind or matter. It does in fact not give you mind or matter. Oh true, it does have a serious reflection. It's so wild to me that he has an serious reflection. That my brain isn't really processing it. Because he has nothing else. He has nothing else. This is insane. Uh, two essence worms. I mean, that's okay, I guess. That, I suppose, is okay. Do you know, it's actively bad that you do have the immunity curses here. Because you could have thrown that jewel on that makes you get more damage per curse. What's it called again? Self-flagellation self or something? Honestly, after playing this build, it probably feels like you are flagellating already. Um, so I, I see, I see the use for it. But, uh, yeah, I, I, you should get a self-flagellation and then you have a serious reflection. Like, I don't understand why you're using curse. I mean, you're, like, uh, ripping your damage away. And it's not like the curses do anything because you're unaffected by curses anyway. Um, right, let's see. Your boots are garbage. Are you really, like, are you actually playing this? Like, are you really, like, what was the note? Survivability and single target DPS. He's just struggling with everything. Just the game is a bit of a struggle for you, I think. Do you know, Torch Side 3 is a lot easier. Torch Side 3 is a lot easier. It would probably be better off. Um, 75, 50 block with glancing blows. No block on hit. I'm not a big fan of glancing blows. Unless you have block on hit. Um, I really like, though. I haven't seen anyone do this in... Uh, what about Last Epoch? Right, but I don't really want to recommend good games to, like, somebody that's, like, really, really struggling. Because, like, I, I don't know. This He needs something really simple. That's the epoch's a little bit complicated. But either way, I like how you, like, really, really tried to avoid life nodes on the tree. Because you are, like, I don't even know what you are. Are you even reserving life? Because you have, well, actually, that's fine. Because you have that. That, that, make, that makes sense. Because you are low life because of your belt. But, and you're not actually low life. It is part of your survival. But you still, like, you've still actually actively been avoiding life nodes. Like, it's such a confusing build. I feel like you don't even know what you're trying to do here or achieve. I don't really know what's happening. Wait, why is it saying minus 48? Because it shouldn't. Oh, because you can't turn on your Herald of Thunder. Then I don't know why you wasted four slots on it. Also, you have a level 10 Herald of Thunder. I don't know why that's there. Maybe you're switching? 
Are you switching between the Herald of Thunder and the Conductivity? What happened here? This is like what I would expect if you were a Twitch streamer and you let Twitch build your build. One note at a time. Do you know what? Who am I kidding? That actually would have been better than this. That actually would have been better than this. I really don't even know where to start. I really don't even know where to start. Because even with people actively trying to make your build shit, you'd actually get a better build. Look at the travel here, dude. One, two, three, four fucking travel nodes. What's, what's the anointed? Deflection. Hey, that's what the other guy should have done. That's what the other guy should have done. Um. I don't understand how these people get level 84. It is really, really impressive. I probably couldn't get level 84 on this build. Arc multiple totems. I don't fully understand what's happened here. It's like... I feel like I'm staring at modern art. Like, that's what I feel like with these builds. I actually am so impressed. These are like the best build candidates we've had for a Sunday Roast. I just... Like, what do you do? I feel like we need to do a yard sale that regrets and just have him like respect the entire build. Like, how do you fix this? Why do you have so much e like just okay, let's actually look at his like items. Cool, cool, cool. Um Why? Why don't you have life on any of your gear? Oh! I was wrong. Do you know when people bullyingly say softcore megalol, this is what they mean. And I don't understand what happened. What was the thought process here? What was the thought process here? You have like, a, like it's just cast speed. You can throw a misery essence on and get a better weapon. Wait, are you crit? What's your crit chance? You have a diamond fast. Let's see the majestic crit chance. Alright. Does he have power charges? He, Hyro gets like power charges, right? But that's on all the time, right? Yeah, that's already on. LOL. It's already uh, doing that. You have a whooping 57% crit. A whooping 57% crit with your Diamond Fossey active. How much crit multi does he have? Where is his crit multi? He has 400 crit multi. I don't even know how you got that much crit multi. And your low life. You do no damage. You do so little damage. Where on earth are you getting crit multi from? Do you have some like... You don't even have that. I'm impressed. Hmm. Oh my god, he's actually using... I, somebody in chat said maybe he's using crit multi support and I was like, nobody uses that anymore. It's not very good. Is it even in your top six damage gems? No. No, it is not. But I guess for consistency, you could actually argue it's worth using. I still would do controlled, even on this build. Um, so many new players think that control makes them unable to crit. Why are you using faster casting? Oh, you really don't... But like, okay, here's what a lot of people don't fuck up. So when you're killing bosses, let's say we're let's say we're even killing a map boss, standard boss. Look how high lightning pen goes. Boom. This is why we have ZDPS on bosses. Look how much better. Look how much better it is. And that's like not even against a hard boss. 
This is just like a math boss. Look how much better it is. You can't just like calculate all your damage with no boss toggled. You don't care about like there. So even this is already better. Um, oh my god, there's so much that needs to be done here. I really don't know. Like, th there's no possible way that using two essence worms is worth it. And like, you actually probably could have some survival if you use mom. I don't know what happened there. And then you want an enduring mana flask. And drop all the ES stuff. Put that all into life. Go life and mind or matter. Goodbye. Life and mind or matter. I'm gonna do it like this. I mean, th th that's actually okay. No. Um. Do you know what? You can probably just grab the fucking silent life wheel instead of that. I'm pretty sure. I didn't even see how many points he was at. He was 84, so this is 85. Uh, what other ES nodes is he taking? That's fine, actually. Dude, he still has so little life. He has so little life. What happened here? I mean, I... Hmm. You know, I'd actually rather have those. Even on this, I'd probably rather have that. You need to actually get life on your gear. You need 70 to 80 life gloves. You have life on your helmet and on... Oh my god, dude. How are you even going to get life? You can't use two essence worms. How do, you have, how do you have so little life and so little damage? This is shocking. Everything here is shocking. The, the skill tree, the pathing, everything. And you have to take... Is he using glancing blows to get blocked? Because he doesn't want to die. But he's still dying all the time because he doesn't have a life on block. And Glancing Blows isn't that good without... It's not that good without a life on block shield. And like, generally you don't... You, you either focus on crit or you don't. If anything, earlier you would have been better taking like things like Throat Seeker. Instead of grabbing like actual percentage lightning. You, you generally go all in on crit when you're doing that shit. But you have so little of everything. I actually don't understand. I don't understand how you have so little damage. That's actually shocking. But you are playing a totem build in the current year. This is rough. Crit totem in the current year. I, I really, honestly, I would say it's not a good build to do. I, I wouldn't do this. This actually looks... Awful. This actually looks awful. Many totems. Is yeah, like five, four? Pretty sure this is a victim of those build websites with built-in real money trading. Yeah, don't follow don't follow builds from websites. They're usually like intentionally shit to like say like, oh your build shit, hey, buy these items. Buy these items, like um like it's Eerie's Reflection. This will help your build get better. Um, You waste two points next to Witch 2 to go into Witch instead of through the top. True. Maybe he needs the 10 strength. I don't know. Uh, no, he doesn't actually. Wow, that's shocking. Honestly, I... Yeah. And, and self-flagellation would help. Self-flagellation would help. But you have so little life. If you got up to like even 4k life with more minor matter, with more yes, then you'd probably survive. You'd probably survive. Like self-flagellation is like so big. That's the entire point of the build. You base And, and now you need to not remove curses. You should keep as many curses on you as possible. Like, that's the problem right now. Get an enduring mana flask of, like, not warding. And just throw in a... Like, even that will help right now. No, he is actually low life. He is actually low life. That's fine. Here, let's... Let's look. Uh, let's let's throw it in. 
I don't know if this like writes properly. How can I uh can I do how many curses are on me? What's the max amount of curses and can I have curses around me? Have you been cursed? Set all of them to level one. Does it matter though? What level? Center. Oh! Here, look how much damage. Let's just assume that everything is up. I don't even know how many can be active at the same time. But like, you get so much damage from that. You get so much damage from that. And then you're like, you're you're cancelling them all with your immune to curses. Look, look how much of a damage boost you're removing. If you had that. It's it's still shit. But at least you can probably get up to like 800,000, maybe a million. You can probably get up to that. Whew. Double shit. And I mean, you can get an actual weapon. Let's say that you... Let's say that you get a scepter. Let's say that you get, like, I don't know, like, maybe a shaper scepter. Uh, and you get just, like, actual lightning damage. And you get lightning as extra chaos. And you get lightning. Then, you know, you have crit... Uh, where's spell crit? Spell crit. Cast speed. Like th this this would be like an actual good scepter to go for. Maybe you have like some flat damage to spells too. Like crafted flat damage to spells. There. You go for that. There. Boom. 160,000 per. This is uh yeah. This is rough. This is rough right now. And you need to get more life. And, and use mom please. But even this is like 100k more per totem. Um, alright. That is the majority of this build done. That was rough. Holy shit. There's some good ones, eh? There's some good ones. Sorry, I wasn't even roasting that hard there. I was more like just shocked, I guess. Alright, where's the... Sedate Island. Hopefully it's sedated like your build, lol. Uh, Shade Slinging is the build. More than 40 deaths. <coughs> okay, let's import his build into POB. I definitely don't want to save that. That is not a build I plan on stealing. What was this build called? Shade Slaying. I had a corporation called Shade in EVE Online. Um, alright. Mapping doesn't feel too bad, considering it's an ED Contagion spell slinger build. But rituals are kind of getting sketchy, and bosses, deliriums, and legions are becoming a royal ass in the pain in the ass above tier 11. I've been trying to take on what I know from having run similar builds in the past and combining them with builds I've found online. Since spell slinger ED Contagion builds are interesting to find build guides for. Um, survivability is normally pretty good until I try to go up in tiers. Most reds, I just get one shot on bosses, and the budget, I should probably- I could probably put together about 6x in total, not counting items on the character. <sighs> okay, if this does not have a jade flask, I am going to lose my shit. Nice witch fire. Ah, this build is like inviting a migraine. I can't look at bright lights anymore. It's uh...
I feel like... I mean, there's no way you watched any of my guides. At least you have a level 20 gem. You got that going for you. Oh my god. Alright, let's see. You actually have an okay weapon. That is shocking. I'm pretty sure you can craft higher dot multi than that, can't you? Um, you actually have a good enchant. Uh, and you are CI, right? I thought you were going to be like CI with 6k yes or something. What's happened here? What are you? 4k life, 1.4k ES. Barely any life on your helmet. Some life there. Pretty much nothing on your amulet. In a world where you can guarantee a plus two chaos amulet that I even have a video on how to make. 22 life ring. I have a vermilion ring with crafted life. An actually acceptable stygian. Actually a good stygian. And you have a searching eye without an onslaught. I, I don't know. The only thing I can assume here is that you don't understand the difference between phasing and onslaught. That's the only thing I can assume here. Um, you're using a witch fire brew. Something I say in every single video of mine is garbage and shouldn't be used. The only time you should use a witch fire brew is when playing um, fucking... What's the thing called? The plague barrier. It's the only time you should ever use a witch fire brew. Other than that, you should either do a curse on hit or a self curse. And death so sure. I haven't played that. Um, so, your Quicksilver. Your Quicksilver looks a little bit like something you got in Act 1 or you got an Inhale Rake. Um, no, not on Toxic Rain. Um, it, it, it looks like something you got in Act 1 and you, you really bonded with it. It was a very, very special. Maybe it's the first item you dropped. I don't really understand what happened here. But, um... Or maybe you, like, somehow thought... Maybe you have a bet with your friends that is, like, hard-locked onto your character. Like, fractured gear, but for your character. Um... Yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know. That was, uh... That was shocking. Let's see. You actually have Cluster Jewels... Hoggers. That's good. Let's look at his glue. Is that just for the 1% reserved? Because you're already... I, I must be missing something. Or maybe I've turned on something too much. You decided... Is this some sort of cult that is, like, against regaling? Or what happened here? I, I don't really understand what happened. Um, Touch of Cruelty, Wicked Paul, and Holy Grace. Like, your large is fine. And it's nine, sure, whatever. Student of Decay. Special Therapy. I don't really understand what happened here with your one stat jewel. I, I could only assume that you really, 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 really need the reservation. Um, do you know, it would probably you don't even have 21 spell slingers. It would be so easy for you to, to get the reservation you need there. Just get 21 spell slinger. LOL. Uh, it's probably not even that expensive. What? Did I click that on accident? No, it is actually there. I did not click that on accident. Wow. Do you know, sometimes you click like this and you're like, wait, why is that there? And you think you did a mistake, but no, that is actually allocated. He willingly did that. Um, okay. Cool. What are you even doing? Not even... <clears throat> okay, so your shield's like sort of usable, your boots... 
are okay. Your belt is really, really good. You just have a garbage jewel for no reason. I guess, like, Onslaught, you were, like, maybe worried about losing control of the characters. You didn't want to be too fast. You want to, like, jog, jog through Rayclass or Power Walk. Um, I don't understand why you are using the Asana's Dental Touch. And that makes your Witch Fire Brew make even less sense. Um... Quite a lot of the time, this is going to be fucking up your Contagion Explosion. But sure, you could you could do Explosion. I know Waggle's been experimenting with that. Didn't actually see how well it is. But sure, I, I could see an Explosion working. But, you know, get like a proper one. Like maybe Impulsa with Storm's Gift. That would be fine. Or, yeah, actually, that would probably be kind of cool. But this this just ain't it. Like, uh, let's see. What else? Again, quest rewards are not, like, hard-locked onto your character. It's not hard-locked onto your character. Um, let's see. And your helmet, like... Uh, do you know what? It's actually fine. Your helmet's actually fine. Um, alright, let's start with the most grievous mistake you did. Which is explained very clearly, very carefully, in every single trickster guide I've done. To the point where I haven't had a single person fuck this up. So I'm just gonna assume that you haven't watched any of my videos. Uh, because everyone that has watched my videos has not fucked the trickster up for quite some time now. Because I'm so- I, I'd say it's six or seven times during each video. Um, that Jade Flask is mandatory. It's, uh, it's mandatory for, for playing a trickster. The reason, and it's way more powerful than a Stib Knight, is because of Ghost Dance, which uh, you recover energy shield equal to 5% of your innovation rating. So you go from dying every 30 seconds to full immortality, basically, uh, with your Jade Flask up. It's, it's such a big difference. Uh, your Carcass deck is fine. Your gems are fine, I think. Yeah. Um, you, you, yeah, I don't know what happened here. Like, it's so easy. I even have a guide on how to guarantee. All you need is Augment Chaos or Chaos to Chaos or, like, non-Chaos to Chaos. And you can, like, guarantee a plus two Chaos Amulet. So, in a, in a league where that happens. Anyway, another thing that you can do, which is, like, huge for damage, is you can do, uh, this is actually especially good for Spell Slingers because, uh, you could, you could have a separate six thing, um, or, 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 something else but more importantly you can make plus two gloves and like that's actually like the best target for double crafting because they're so cheap to make um they're like two x two divines uh and and they're one of the best uses of exalts because you can get plus six you can get plus six gloves with double crafting but even if you just keep one pair for do uh, for not double crafting you can get a glove that has um it's basically a five link because you get uh, essence of delirium and then you get plus two gem levels so it's like really, really nice. It's so good. And that doesn't uh, doesn't restore more mana. So that's really strong. And then you like, yeah, you, you're using so much for reservation right now too. Right. That's pretty much everything for this. That is pretty much everything for this. <sighs> Let's see. The last roast we're gonna do is this one. Also, we're not taking like roast requests during this. It's all like pre-prepared out of people that like submitted before the time was over. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let's see, see one seven oh nine. Drunk Templar. Alright, let's see. Deaths 277. That's more than I've ever died on Hardcore. Uh, mapping and delve do pretty well, but bosses have low DPS. Well, that's good. If the bosses do little damage, that means you've done your defenses right. Uh, wanted to pick up more single target. I have a few fire and crit clusters, but none of them seem to improve things.
All right, what is this? Is it an Inquisitor? Oh, please be the, the build I'm doing. Your S is a ritual? All right. S is a ritual. Well, then it's like hard. It's harder to be mean here because I, I don't know. Like, SSF is generally hard even on softcore. So I might not be that mean on this one. Um, This might just be build. Never mind. Never mind. I wasn't going to be that mean. And then I see that you've decided that Rokka is a uh, a good choice. Which Rokka is never ever for any reason or any circumstance. Should a player ever use a Rokka for anything else than trash to treasure. It should never ever be used. There's no ever excusable reason where the Rokka is better than a normal Quicksilver Flask. A Quicksilver of Adrenaline is always under every single circumstance. And every time ever. It is never ever ever good. For any reason ever. There is no exception where this flask ever becomes good. First of all, it consumes your Frenzy Charges, which is less damage. And you can get Frenzy in so many other ways anyway. You can get it from, like, your Trigger Gem with Cold Stamp, which I'm hoping you have. Uh, like, I mean, you can get Onslaught from a Searching Eye or just, like, a Silver Flask. Like, just never, ever, for any reason, ever use Rukka. Never. That's dumb. You're dumb. Maybe you were drunk when you made this decision. I'm very sure. Um, so please just get a Searching Eye with Onslaught. Uh, that's fine. Recover full life. You love to see it. You have Cursamine D, you have Bleedamine D, you have Armor. Sure, these are all okay choices. I really like Jade Flask just for Porcupines and it makes Porcupines a lot better. Uh, because when Porcupines have extra, whenever you have Map Mod, Physical Damage is extra Lightning, then Porcupines really start to hurt and these do nothing. Uh, so Jade Flask is really, really big. I would have dropped out the Basalt Flask for a Jade. You can still keep a Granite. It is still pretty good against all the small hits. You have a really, really nice Shield. Um, if it's low level, or even if it isn't, if it is or it isn't, I would still, I don't know why I've synthesized it, but if it is or it isn't, I would still recommend augmenting fire. You'll either get fire as extra chaos, or you get plus one fire gems, um, which is a small boost, not a very big boost, but if you can, if you're high enough level to hit fire as extra chaos, it's decent. It's not as good as more damage, but still useful. Um... See, honestly, like, most, most things here look decent. It's just to improve it. Uh, that's fine. You do want an incursion chest if you can get that. Nice. You really want to try to farm a soul tether and get an incursion lead amulet. It is huge for survival. Um, let's see. You have... Is that suffix or prefix? Can I see that? It's not going to let me see that, is it? I don't know if it's suffix or prefix. Soul Tether doesn't do anything on a Slayer. You already have Overleech. Um, I mean, your Scepter's not that bad. It's honestly okay. Like, I had a worse one. You do want higher fire damage. If you can get it. Like, I have done tier 1 crit multi and multi modded that. And then augment, uh, augment caster and hope for cast speed. That's pretty decent. But either way, um, yeah, because you have three crit, so you can't even, can't even multi-mod and get trigger. Your rings are fine. They have a lot of life, a lot of, um, Make sure you have... I'm going to assume that you have Spectre Banks. That's your Spectre Bank. So you have two Spectre Banks. That's good. I'm going to hope you have Harvest Spectres. Bringing that in. Um, uh, bringing that in for for hard bosses. Which is probably what you're struggling on. Like Shaper. Shaper is always the DPS on this build. Even me with like... I had really fucking good damage. You're always the DPS on Shaper. Uh, what happened here? Where's your storm brand? Okay, please follow build guides. This is why build guides are made. Uh, you really, really want storm brand with power charge and critical. I don't see how you're getting power charges. Unless I'm missing something. Why do you have spirit offering here? You are drunk. Wait, I don't understand. Are 
Are you in chat? I feel like you need to answer some questions. Is he here? Why do you have flammability? Are you following the necromancer guide? What? No wonder you're struggling. What happened here? What did you do and why? Is that the is this the way I've allocated skill points for the necromancer? This isn't a necromancer. This how much are you drinking right now? And what are you drinking? Is it whiskey? Why do you have instruments of virtue? Yes, you are drunk. Okay, cool. Okay, you're not supposed to have this one. You're supposed to have this one. This is very, 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 very big for your damage. Oh, <laughs> bleach. Um, okay, cool. Uh, you're also not supposed to use plum ability. You're supposed to have uh, Storm Man with power charge on critical, and then you can have cold snap. Flam does more than Assassin's Mark. No, it doesn't! Because you're supposed to have this one! Critical strikes ignore enemy monster elemental resistances. You're not supposed to care about farm ability. It's supposed to do nothing. That's why I make a bill guide. Stop drinking so much. Other than that, other than like thinking, oh, oh this looks better in POV than what Zizarin thought out. And it's always better because like, it, it's like, Marks are so strong for bosses. So use Assassin's Mark, respect your ascendancy points, and then and and switch the gems around. Follow the build guide. And honestly, you should be fine then. You should be fine then. Um, Jesus. All right. I hope that helped. That is gonna conclude the Sunday roast. I think that was around an hour. That's a that's a that's a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was trying to be mean on purpose. I hope nobody got their feelings sir. I, I, uh, it's a hard for me already to be mean. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the, the roast. So this was all satire. I'm not normally toxic. Uh, I stream every day on Twitch. Some of you like the videos. And more importantly, try to die less than I do. <laughs>